Andy here, and this is super important for everybody that's using OBS, because let's face it, all of you are using plugins, because plugins are the backbone of OBS, it's incredible. But OBS 32 is right around the corner, and there's been some changes internally, um, and going forward, if you want newer versions of plugins, they will not work on older versions of OBS, okay? So if we use this as an example, we'll use one of Exceldros because Exceldro is one of the best plugin makers out there, if not the best. Uh, if we go to something like Downstream Kia, because I know you guys, a lot of people have seen my videos and use that. This recent update requires OBS 31.1 or higher. And that's because in I think it's OBS 32, something is changing behind the scenes about docs and stuff like that, that OBS are removing functionality. I'm really not sure why they're going that route. Like surely, like me being a, a bit a dev, um, and that is definitely air quoted, me being a dev now is uh, you always try and keep backwards compatibility, but I'm not at a deep dive, so there's probably a reason. There's always a reason why stuff's done, um, but this is really, really important, okay? So if you aren't updating your OBS and you want the new features that come out of plugins, uh, like who knows, Exceldro is always updating plugins. This means probably your 8 and vertical going forward, all your big plugins like that, the stream up plugin that I've made, uh, they are all gonna... Basically, the newer versions aren't going to work on older versions of OBS. Uh, but I know a lot of you are always super scared about updating and everything like that. There is absolutely no need to worry about updating. Like, there's been so much misinformation about updating OBS and it breaking stuff ever since the, the OBS 28 gate, you know, where we're having issues and no plugins worked because they made giant changes to how plugins function. Uh, they don't want that anymore. So that's why they're doing smaller updates. Um, but basically, if you do want to stay on an older version, which I would not recommend because there's so many great bug fixes and new features in later versions, uh, you can actually download older versions of plugins as well because on the OBS forums, it keeps all the history of all the plugins. So whenever a dev updates a plugin, you can actually roll back to a different version. So if I want to download the first ever version in 2021, this is making me feel old now, um, version 0.0.1 .0 of downstream Kia, I can do that. You can just hit download and boom, it's there. So if you do want to kind of live in the dark ages, you totally can, but I would always recommend updating. This channel is always here to try and help as many people as possible uh, when it comes to content creation and stuff like that. Because like I say, there is so much misinformation out there, especially with everyone just pushing AI and using AI for everything. It's it, There's a lot of just false info. And I don't want you to all get worried about certain things not working. If you have a question, ask me in the comments. Come and visit me on twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. You can ask me whilst I'm live. Uh, we're actually streaming right now and people are asking questions. There's one here. This one says, hey, Andy. So 100% I feel like this is a question. So I'm going to have to get to that one. All right. But much love to you all. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments um, and to stay tuned. All right. And uh, join memberships. Help me keep making this content full time because I've got some awesome stuff like a new OBS theme and a new plugin for you guys. All right. Put your over the stone. Much love.